the ugly demon. Wasn't that last chapter, basically? Oh, he's like a fucking mole. Oh, boy. God. Just the, the like, the detail around the eye there. Uh, the bulging, like, uh, you know, bruise or whatnot. Maybe a tumor, perhaps. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I mean, I, again, I can't say it enough. Like, his art is so good at monsters. Like, that is his, like good style here. Also, like, the roundedness of this. Interesting. Like a postcard, almost. I was born into a certain well-established family in a certain region. I can't be any more specific. There are many who would be inconvenienced if all this became known. When I was born, the midwife who pulled me out into this world fainted. <laughs> At the hideous sight of me. Okay. So, yeah, how hideous... I mean, I guess we saw him on the cover there, but, you know, that was his grown form. My own mother feared me and became terribly distraught every time she saw me. Never recovered from the birth and died several weeks later. I was raised by my father. He didn't turn his eyes away from me, and he lavished me with care. Perhaps he blamed himself for the way I was born. Or perhaps, as the saying goes, the less fortunate the child, the greater a parent's love. My father was quite a handsome man, and my mother, too, was very beautiful. And yet I, their son, turned out to be ugly like a monster. In time, I grew old enough to go outside, and the kids screamed when they saw me. Some of them even burst into tears upon seeing me, and throwing stones at him. No one would be my friend. It wasn't just the kids, even dogs thought it was some kind of beast and chased after me. And not a single grown-up showed any compassion, just spit at him, oh my god. Yeah, mortified, just a little glimpse we can see in the water there. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate to a massive degree. And yeah, he's already got the lump here. He's already got the lump and the, like, you know, stuff under his eye there. What a face. What a face. Holy fuck. Yeah, I don't know how I would not react to public going like, Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> But deep inside, I was laughing at all of you. I enjoyed killing living things. So we'd set up like an apple for ants to come, away for them to all gather as many as possible, and then crush them. Grabbing a praying mantis. <laughs> praying mantis seems like it's like, ah! <laughs> and ripping its wings and legs off. Stomping on a, oh no, not stomping on a, uh, just here, with a stick on a frog. Jesus. And as I grew older, the killings were more intense. Oh my god, just plucking the claws out of it. Pulled out each and every one of the cat's claws. Oh my god. After I scratched out the eyes of a cocky neighborhood kid, people began to call me a demon. My father did his best to protect me, but, yeah, he got attacked too. Got a huge gash on his head. Permanent scar across his handsome face. And yeah, I went to hospitals trying to get surgery or something, but eventually I was not even allowed to step outside the house. God, it's just getting worse and worse. But I never followed his orders. You smashed through the window! No qualms about showing my demonic appearance to others. There's nothing demonic about this, but there's something demonic about you. Went wherever I wanted and did whatever I wanted. <laughs> then when I was 12... Oh no. Oh no. Couldn't get the pretty girl out of my mind. Began secretly watching her when she walked home from school. Ugh. I gotta say, I'm glad we read Reptilia first, because again, it was the most 5 out of 10. It was like, you know, I would probably be very scared of this if I read this as a kid, but now as an adult, I can put myself in that place, but it's still not as, like, scary. It's, it's you know, it was a fun tale to read, but it wasn't scary or creepy or, like, you know, it would only get under my skin at, like, specific moments, but, like, so far, these past two chapters have been, like, on another level, like... You know, it might just be because he's not, like, the other one was also for a shoujo audience, so maybe he was, like, holding himself back. You know, he was trying to do it a lot more lighthearted, lighthearted, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, he's trying to do it a lot more, you know, uh, for a younger audience as well. Uh, versus this seems like it's, like, kind of, like, for anybody, you know? Versus the other one was a more specific audience. So we wrote a letter to her. And then, yeah, just <laughs> hiding behind the pole approaches her. Terrifying. Tongue-tied, I nevertheless approached her, hoping she would become my friend. Yeah, absolutely not. She ran away, and without thinking, I desperately tried to pull her back. Gotta rip her clothes. Oh, and then somebody whacked him. Okay, yeah. Uh, boys from school. 
Yeah, absolutely deserved. Absolutely deserved. And her words turned my heart into a black void. <laughs> and then after that, I continued to stealthily watch her. But from that day on, she was always accompanied by a brawny young fellow. A giant, giant dude. That's not like a high schooler. That's a teacher or something. I don't know. Somebody. You got a bodyguard. Yeah, obviously she despised me. I mean, anybody should despise you after everything you've been doing. And okay, he just came up and punched him. Just beat him. Yeah, get out of our path. <laughs> and yeah, she's just like, oh, it's because of his awful looking face. Not all the, you know, shit of him attacking cats and everything like that. And on that day, I finally stopped leaving the house. I actually did what his father asked. Cursed my look. Cursed everyone with normal faces. And the face just became more and more ugly as time passed. Okay, one day, left town. Moved to another town where nobody knew about us. Mm. The demon child just up and vanished. After that, nowhere in Japan were there rumors about this demon child. Huh. Where did they go then? And right, our cat-eyed boy. Yeah. Looks like a storm's ruined. Better find a place to sleep. But, yeah! What was that scream? Okay, uh, so, yeah, probably been attacked by the demon child, for sure. <laughs> I love how empathetic the cat-eyed boy actually is. He's not really evil in any way. He is just, like, you know, a kind of nice boy. <laughs> and he died. What does he mean by beast? Came from the direction of this factory. Okay, okay, yep, there's our dad. He's turned into a beast as well. Was he biting him, eating him? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, he's just going around eating people now. What happened? What happened? It's so crazy. This is, he has such a sense of justice. It's so interesting. Oh, those eyes. God damn. Again, his art is so flexible with it. God. No, no, like, you know, sharp fangs or anything like that. Which makes this even worse. He is just with square teeth ripping into this flesh. Okay, okay, he's going for him. Oh my god, he did. He bit him. But crack, crack! Oh my god! Okay, did he actually take a bite out of us or what? And oh, you run off at every opportunity. Is this his son? Son's now got him whipped. Nope, this is somebody else entirely. What the fuck? <laughs> These glasses! I'm Professor Yokai! <laughs> you are your Professor Yokai! Okay, what the. <laughs> Here's his whole place. Just splattered shit everywhere. Broken shit all over the place. Why? So badly kept. Okay, and he tied us up and brought us here too. Since you know my secret, even just a part of it, I cannot let you go. <laughs> Never mind me, what's that man over there? What is going on? What happened since we left? <laughs> my supreme creation, a work of art. Something you probably don't understand. Yeah, it's art. Yep. Jesus Christ! The art is so good. Yeah, you call that art? I'm so fascinated by him. Mm, that man chose to turn into that. Mm. This man became like this from a desire to save his son. If he stays this way, his son can be saved. O okay, what the fuck do you mean? Are you just carrying us like a log? <laughs> Okay, here is his son. Hmm. Yep. Oh my god, the eye's gotten so much worse. I mean, everything about him has gotten so much worse. The skin. Oh, how long has it been? Yeah, just locked up in here. Bear with it just a little longer until we find a good candidate. Or, what about him? If he will do, I can begin immediately. Itching to get started. Hmm, but no. Yeah, as if I choose a weird-looking kid like him. Okay, yeah, so we're like transfer him into another body. Someone who's handsome, someone who would make anyone swoon. Yeah, <laughs> you, you should talk. I've never seen anyone as ugly as you. <laughs> Let this boy stay inside with you. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna have to be bunking with the fucking ugly. But okay, I have someone in mind. And yeah, make sure that boy doesn't escape. And yeah, he's not going to kill us because we're weird as well. And I mean, even if we weren't weird, he'd probably just want us to turn us into an art piece as well. And yeah, even you can't even stomach him. That's crazy. Why do you cringe at the sight of me? <laughs> okay, just going to beat the fuck out of him. God damn. 
God damn, I feel very bad for the kid now. I mean, oh, I don't know why I'm like shocked that I feel bad for him. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's just a nice little boy. <laughs> He's unconscious. Well, that'll do for today. <laughs> After ten years in the cell, ten years it's been. Finally something to look forward to. Oh, yeah, they want to go out of the world and make normal feel humans feel pain without fail. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, somebody, a young guy in a car accident in critical condition. Okay, here's our guy. So yeah, yeah, we don't need like a kid to turn him into. We need um, an adult, so this works. It's been 10 years. Okay, his brain is hemorrhaging, so he's gonna die. Unconscious and paralyzed. And okay, it's this guy's brother as well. Hmm. Pray to our late mother and father, please save my brother. You can be saved in a way that you do not expect. And then, okay, he just sits up in bed. What the fuck? Sits up in bed and leaves. <laughs> uh, uh, what kind of powers does the other guy have? Perhaps, like, you know, powers of, like, persuasion to make him come to us. <laughs> it's drunkard. Yeah, what are you going to be sad about? But, oh my god, okay, he's carrying him. How did he not see this? <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But okay, good work. Really, your plan was to have him bring him here? That's crazy. You've been keeping him locked here for ten years so nobody sees him. What if somebody saw him? But yeah, definitely should have no complaints about him. But okay, it must be done while he's still alive. Yeah, it can't be done while he's dead. But the fact that he is dying doesn't matter. Catboy crying. <sighs> yeah, attempted some terrible surgery up there. God, he's got so much justice. I'm glad we have, you know, uh, like, you know, every other horror thing I've seen where you have someone who is introducing the tales, they're usually pretty fucked up. They're like, hey, 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 hey let me tell you this fucked up tale that gets me horny. <laughs> but not this boy. He's just like, it just so happens that this stuff happens around me. Okay, he's leaving the surgery to go beat us or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go beat him again. You won't make it in time for the surgery! <sighs> and yeah, came in here to beat him again. <laughs> but I hope, I hope he actually isn't in time for the surgery. Ah, damn, seems like he did make it in time. But maybe not, but... Yeah, <laughs> Dad's so pitiful. Selling his life because he wanted to make me normal. God, you are so... such a piece of shit. But okay, let's pick up the story from the little brother's side. Mm, yeah, where could your brother have gone? Well, don't worry, he's home now, I bet. Yep, he's home now, alright. Mm, yeah, no need for a doctor. I was saved, I just need rest. Mm-hmm. I was waiting for death to come, but I've gotten so much better, so just let me sleep quietly. Yeah. Yeah, where'd he go? What happened? Won't say anything. And now he's just obsessed with his image. <laughs> really creepy. And he sees him too. Why are you? What are you doing there? <laughs> what? Why are you so mad at him? Which, yeah, I mean, like, he's not able to, you know, hold in his just hate for humans in general. Alright, and now this is going to be very telling. Is he going to be able to eat this, or is he only going to be able to eat raw meat? Uh, well, actually, I don't know why. That was from the other tales. So I'm not sure why I'm thinking. I'm just so used to that, you know, as a trope, but, uh,. Yeah, how can I eat such awful looking food? Go and make something that's actually good to eat. Oh, because that's actually more like Tomei. <laughs> okay, he just eats so aggressively now. <sighs> but later, my brother was well enough to go outside. Yeah, who is that one? You don't recognize her? It's our late mother. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. Insane. Insane. <laughs> He's so evil. Oh, then we went out together for our first time. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, okay, that was always old middle school teacher. Look, brother, it's Susie from next door. Don't D.O. him. Don't D.O. him. Don't, I mean, the, the dog is just like, you know, like, what the hell? This isn't, this isn't him. This is not him. Oh, my God. Okay, he grabs it and slams it from the tail down. Oh, my God. As a result, she died. It was though my brother was a completely different person. But yeah, no matter how much I, you know, inspected him, there was no doubt it was him. I mean, yeah. There's the mole. 
And he started going out a lot, but where is he going? Oh, I finally found her! I finally found that woman! Just you wait, I'll get my revenge soon enough. Yeah, the Yukio girl. With this! What is that? Hiroshi, put out your hand! What is this? Was this like acid or something? Oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 and the, the bump is starting to form there, and the under the eye, and the mouth is starting to curve. <sighs> okay, okay, moved his arm away in time, and it was fucking acid. Yeah, TC, this is acid. If it gets on you, you'll get badly burned. <laughs> He's an asshole. <sighs> I'm not going to do anything with a lowly worm like you. I'm going to inflict a lot of pain on a certain woman, and her name is Yuko. Splash acid on her face, ruin her beauty. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? What's happened to my brother? Love these kind of, like, panels where it's, like, it's similar to the, let me see if I can find one. Like, yeah, this sort of thing. Uh, you know, I don't know what you would call it. You know, is it smoke? Is it a reflection in the water? You know, I'm not sure, but it's a little narrative, you know, thing. A little, like, the narrator coming in. But, yeah, this has that feeling of, like, you know, the way Fukumoto does the wobbles and stuff like that, but also it has this feeling of just, like, encroachment like you know it's just all black around you you know it's suffocating and okay cat eye boy digging his way down <laughs> just you know chomp 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 pff, chomp chomp, chomp pff. <laughs> oh, yeah if only i could pull this off different from your average human you know and okay psh, digs his way through nice and yeah my hands weren't tied it was a lot easier my belly must be full of dirt but the dad the lion dad Oh no, he's behind us. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bite our head. Ow, ow, ow. Son of a bitch. But gunshot goes off, scares him away. This guy doesn't want us to be killed. Yeah, hurry up and kill that beast. No, of course he's not. The supreme creation. Oh. Whoa, the spots on his face. What's going on? And now he's leaped after you. He's just gonna kill you. Yeah, he gotcha. <laughs> Hurry, get out of there and tend to me. The bleeding won't stop. <laughs> First, you put me through hell, now you want me to tend to you? Yeah, sir, you're right, is what I'd like to say. Hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't understand the love a creator feels is towards his creations, doing the father son sort of thing. But okay, he's gonna save him. Uh, yeah, this guy is like, you know, he is good, good, you know, better than I would ever be. I'd let this guy fucking die. <laughs> he just grabs medicine and gives him diarrhea. <laughs> <sighs> okay, hit him in a vital spot. How unfortunate. You said you weren't trying to shoot him. So inside he's a leopard. I transper transplanted a leopard's brain into his head. He is indeed a leopard. That man was desperate to help his horribly disfigured son look normal. He came to me one day, offered to become a test subject, and was willing to give up his own brain. He devoted his entire fortune for the sake of the surgery. All because he wanted to turn that ugly demon into a normal person. Also, your supreme creation is just putting a fucking leopard brain into a human body. What was the point of that? That can't be better than a leopard. <laughs> it can't be. <sighs> the creation of life, that is my dream. And I'm convinced that the experiment was a huge success. Brought me closer to that dream. But you saw the spots on his face. It's possible. It's possible that... <laughs> Stop! I don't want to hear this! You're crazy! Everyone out here is going mad! But yeah, if the spots were turned, that means... His face is going to return as well. Okay! So they just got him in a culture tank there. And I guess the other guy's brain... Did they put the other guy's brain in him? Or did they just take his brain out? Okay, it's just his discarded body. His brain is now inside the head of a handsome youth. All that's left is for the brain to assume the human's personality. How the hell would that happen? Certainly doesn't seem like it's happening. And the leopard didn't seem to happen that way either. And okay, yeah, so the brain died of the youth, so I just burned it. He's already brain dead. Yeah, body would have followed suit, so. But yeah, I mean, fair enough. Like, you know, I mean, well, the, the fucked up part is that he's assuming his life. <laughs> okay, so because he failed, he's locked himself in a room that he's gonna, yeah, bam, bam. Wait, shoots himself twice or something? <laughs> yeah, you shot yourself twice. But back to the family, who he's got all tied up now. And uh, every inch of me is like your brother, huh? But looks aren't everything. <laughs> yeah, you're the one saying that. So. But okay, just need just need them to stay put. So we just tied him up so that way they're gonna stay put as he goes and does his thing. 
<laughs> he isn't walking like your brother at all. <laughs> That's what you, you realize. And ladies become to cabaret bars a lot. Flirts with pretty women. He spins so lavishly. He's taking everything of value in the house. And if I try and discourage him, he ties me up and beats me. <laughs> and yeah, it must be some kind of illness. But I really believe that it is not your brother. I would definitely be like, well, my brother died. Something else is in his body. That's some supernatural crazy shit to believe. I wouldn't be thinking somebody put a brain in his body, but I'd be like, maybe it's fucking... Uh, a demon took over his body. This is crazy. But all right, he goes out to the city. Goes to meet with Yuko. Yep. Mm-hmm. Women are such shallow creatures coming from you. And everybody's just listening to him talk to himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, his face... His face is returning. Yeah, I'll make her remember that I'm the ugly demon she abhorred so much. <laughs> and yeah, after I destroy that pretty face of hers, I'll finally reveal my identity. But no, she's gonna see it the instant, the instant you appear. Yeah, it's starting to come back. It's starting to come back, it's, you know, lips as well. Oh uh, yeah, the plan is fucked. It's all gone to nothing. <laughs> And now they're just throwing stones at him and everything. He's not that ugly. He's not like the other guy. Oh my god, they are crazy. <laughs> they're just gonna kill him for being creepy. Holy fuck. The other kid it was like, he looked crazy. I mean, still, you know, not acceptable, but you know what I mean. Like, this is like so little. This is just like a slightly ugly guy. Oh my god. Uh, okay, somebody untied us while we were asleep. Must be the cat eyed boy. Yeah, that was not your brother. Your brother's already dead. Cat-eyed boy. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, cat-eyed boy. <sighs> and mmm, the carcass of a leopard found floating in the sewer. After that, the ugly demon and the despicable beast who called himself Professor Yokai disappeared. However, they might appear again sometime, somewhere. Strange things happen throughout the world. And cat-eyed boy sets out on another journey. Perhaps the next time cat-eyed boy appears, we'll be in the attic of your home. <laughs> Hehehehehe <laughs>